There is nothing more important about us than what we believe about God. If we doubt that God is entirely good, that doubt will eat away at our faith in Him. We cannot completely love, trust, and obey God the way we are meant to if we think He is flawed. God does not have any actual blemishes, but we often feel like God has blemishes. This happens for several reasons. We live in a world full of evil. God is separate from that evil and has never done anything evil. But we often wrongly blame God when we get hurt or we see ugly things in the world. Sometimes this happens deep down in our emotions, even if intellectually we affirm that God is holy. Another reason some people see God as blemished is that sometimes people who claim to represent Him do terrible things in His name. This is what is meant by the verse, As it is written, God's name is blasphemed among the Gentiles because of you. A third way in which God's name gets wrongly blemished is when well-meaning Christians sometimes teach things about God which are not accurate. This is why Jesus taught us to pray Hallowed be your name. He's teaching us to cry out to God, and as God answers that prayer, He will help our neighbors and our family members uh, and our friends uh, to see God as He truly is. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Created using Powtoon.